guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today yeah i've had this request like several times and i've been thinking like how do i get this so today i'm going to show you guys how to make whipped cream frosting from powder whipped cream <laughs> i've seen a lot of people use this especially in nigeria but i've never actually used it and but you guys know like i went to nigeria a couple of weeks back so I bought this specifically to be able to use it and see what works for you guys. I've tried some other Ukrainian ones too, but I didn't really like them. So I'm going to keep trying it. So when I get to what works, I'm going to like make another video. It's if you're in Ukraine or if you're not in Nigeria. So maybe you can try some of them. But I decided to try this. So if you're going to be trying how they whipped cream, I'm going to give you the tips and the tricks on how to do it today for you to get stable, nice whipped cream that is awesome to use. Okay, so today we're going to be using this and we're going to be trying to we're going to be using our whisk attachment of course and our bowl. Yeah, I know a lot of people say that you should you should maybe freeze your whisk attachment, freeze the bowl. I froze my bowl and still it didn't work and I realized the problem was the recipe. So don't follow the recipe behind this thing. I'm going to tell you guys what works today. Don't follow the recipe written here. It's going to make you whipped cream frosting fine, but it's not going to be stable enough for you to use on your cakes, especially if you live in humid areas. So enough talk, so we're going to start work. So we're going to be needing a weighing scale, our whipped cream frosting, very cold water i said very cold so i think if you have very cold water you will need to put all of your tools in the freezer i need to measure it in grams today so i'm going to take my bowl and then tear it okay so to my bowl i'm going to add in 200 grams of powdered whipped cream 200 grams guys so 100 grams, yes, this 200 and two, that's good enough for me. And then once you're done with this, just fold it so like, it's like milk. If you leave it to, like for air to be in contact with it, it starts to float. I don't know. The first one I did when I tried it, like, I didn't exactly cover it with the air tight. So by the time I wanted to use it, it was floating on the water. So you don't want that to happen to you. So fold it and keep it very well and like put it in a like wrap it in a clean pan. So to 200 grams of cream, we're going to be adding 100 grams of water. The recipe behind it says that for 100 grams of cream, I think it says for 100 grams of cream, you should add 200 grams of water. So that's double the amount of water you should add or milk. But in my, the things I've tried, milk didn't exactly work. I don't know what I did wrong, but this was something I did that worked, so that's what I'm showing you. So you need to be needing 100 grams of like a ratio one to one. So to 200 grams of this, we're going to be adding 200 grams of water instead of four according to this. Don't use the recipe behind it. It won't give you, you're the ones first in the cake, yeah? You're the cake the so it won't give you what you're looking for. This will give you what you're looking for. So 200 grams of milk. So 200 grams of the powder, you want to add 200 extra grams of water. So now we're going to have 400 grams in total. Very cold water, guys. Very cold. Or you can use milk. I think milk makes it extra creamy. And then that's all we are going to have. Then I like to put it in here. So I'm going to put this away. And then put it on low speed. And then start to Okay. 
okay, so we are not there yet. If you look, it's still kind of, it's thick right now. But this is not where you're going because you can still kind of see particles. And that's because it is very cold. So this is what you want to do at this point. What you want to do is... You want to take extra 50 grams of water and then add it in beat as it mixes. So if you're going to be using 400 grams of cream, you need to be using 100 grams of extra water. Do you guys understand? So, And it holds up perfectly. So let me show you guys how well it pipes. Take my piping bag. My piping tea, yeah. And put it in here. Then we wait. And it tastes amazing. Personally, I feel like you don't need to add extra sugar to it or anything, but you can taste it depending on what you like as a cake decorator and stuff. Do you like it to have more sugar or is this okay? Because this has already been sweetened, yeah? So if you want it to have more, just add a little bit extra to it, and that's all. So how to store it. I find the best alternative is to don't store it in the freezer, just store it in the fridge and it will be fine. Yeah? And it's delicious, so. Another thing I'm looking at is in my future videos, maybe I can show you guys how to make like flavored whipped cream with this same powder whipped cream. Okay guys, so thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this video because this is really amazing. See? It is wonderful and like the pipes of the drink and it's awesome. I didn't think it was going to work when I bought it because I wonder how like people use it and stuff. It is so. Thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions, do follow me in the comment section below. And remember to subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up on this video. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.